Welcome. Today I'm reading to you from Psalm 32. These are the words of David, and in verse 6 he speaks, he says this, Therefore let everyone who is godly offer prayer to you at a time when you may be found. Surely in the rush of great waters they shall not reach him. God in his word speaks to us in a variety of ways. He encourages us, and at times he also speaks warnings to us. And you might say here in verse 6 that this is a word of warning. He is speaking to God's people, and he's saying to us that it is wise for us to seek the Lord while he may be found. What does that mean? That there are times in life where it may be difficult for us to find him. That we, in other words, should not be people who wander from God and then think that we can come to him with our sin and confess to him our sin at a time that is convenient to us. That we are to keep a short account when it comes to that. That we are to daily come to him and say, Lord, would you keep me close to you? Would you forgive me my sin? And that we are not to assume that there will be later opportunities to do that. That's the word here that he speaks about. Surely in the rush of great waters, they shall not reach him. He's really speaking of, of unrighteous people who would think that there will surely be a time later in their life for them to come to the Lord and be made right with him. That they put it off till a later moment in life. And God is saying here that that moment may not come for them, <clears throat> that they may not have opportunity to do that when the end of their life arrives. God, in other words, is speaking to us here about the fear of the Lord, that we are not to take sin lightly, we are not to trifle with him, but that we are to understand that sin is what condemns us. And in fact, sin is what brings death to us physically and spiritually, eternally. So sin is not something that we are to, to take lightly in life, but rather we are to give it to the Lord. We are to go to Jesus with it and trust that he will forgive us, and he will, for he is the only one who can. That's why he came and went to the cross. It's why he suffered and died. It's why he endured everything that he did so that we would not need to be separated from him, so that we would not be condemned in our sin, but forgiven. And that is what he has brought to you and me, full and free forgiveness for all that we have done. Let us be people who go to him and, and who receive that wonderful gift of forgiveness and life everlasting. He loves us and wants us to have this. And so we pray. Our Lord Jesus, we pray that you would help us to be people who keep short accounts with you, that we would daily take our sins to you, confessing it to you, leaving it at the foot of the cross. Help us not to take sin lightly, but to take our sin to you. And we are grateful, Lord, that you are the one who forgives us and leads us home to heaven. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God's blessings be to you.